What is up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in a hotel in Long Beach, California. We have a music festival that the band I'm working with is performing this weekend, but then right after that, we hit the road for about a month and a half of full-time touring, and we're gonna be living on a bus. In addition to, we'll be on a cruise for a week, we're also flying to France and to Switzerland for a week, and part of that means I'm gonna have to live on a bus for that amount of time. I mean, we all are. Uh, everyone on the everyone in the in the group is going to be. There's going to be 11 of us total, all dudes by the way. And I figured it'd be a cool opportunity for me to share with you what I'm packing, like what I'm bringing with me on this trip. If you're watching this and you've never been on a tour, then hopefully this can help give you some insight into what I'm bringing as a tour manager. And if you're like a super tenured tour person and I clearly missed something or I, I didn't explain something well enough, let me know in the comments. I would love to deep dive into, into your logic and figure out how I can improve my touring experience. And of course, guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be making all kinds of content on the road. This tour in particular is gonna have a lot of opportunity for content, so I'm looking forward to sharing everything that I do on the road and sharing why I do the things I do on the road. And for those that don't know, I am a tour manager. I've been a tour manager for the past few years, working with a variety of bands. This is gonna be a reggae band I'm on the road with. And again, we are gonna be living in a bus, so it's gonna be a very, Fun, but very interesting experience too. Yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, I travel super light. So the only thing I brought with me, and again, this is for about two months on the road, is a backpack and my like standard size uh, travel sort of carry-on bag. This all travels on most airlines. I fly Delta primarily, and this flies you know comfortably within their policy. So this is my preferred like packing size. You're probably thinking, wow, how does he pack so much for, for two months on the road in such few bags? Well, the answer is uh, we are gonna have access to laundry at certain stops on the road, and also I'm just not a very dirty person. So, but let's take a look. So of course, I'm gonna have my laptop with me. This is how I do all my advancing work, and it fits comfortably in the back sleeve of my backpack, which by the way, this is a Pelican branded backpack. I didn't know they made these, but I was shopping on their site because I was gonna get like a Pelican Air case or something, and I saw this and I was like, I gotta have it. I'm also bringing some, something to read because I'm gonna be living in my bunk for quite a few hours on the road each day. I think our longest drive is like 11 hours one way. So I, I brought a book, I'm gonna read it. This is how far I am. So hopefully by the end of the tour, I can finish it. This is uh, Joe Dispenza's book becoming supernatural. I, I kind of recently heard about him and so I was just curious. Um, I, I picked up the book at like a Barnes and Nobles like a week ago. So I'm just getting started into it. I got my ibuprofen because it's just, you know, the Hail Mary solution to any kind of issue on the road. Deodorant, of course. Flashlight, very important for me as a tour manager because we're gonna be in venues in very dark spaces and this will help me sort of sig signal my team or just kind of light the way for where we're going. Very critical. Of course, I have all my chargers and cables. This is my MacBook charger. I have uh, two separate iPhone chargers, two different wall adapters for the iPhone charger. I also have external batteries. These are very important. I charge these up before I left, but if I'm ever in a pinch and I need a charge, I can hold on to these and charge my phone, my AirPods, whatever in real time. Very useful and I, these have saved my life on the road. So I definitely recommend you taking these with you if you're ever uh, going on tour. Got a lint roller because I am a little bit of a snob, especially with like black clothing. I hate seeing lint on black, so I always carry a lint roller. Earplugs, uh, because again, we're in a live music setting. Typically the promoter will have these for us as well. It's in our rider, but I also travel with them just in case. And also like at night when we're on the bus, if the band's trying to hang out and I'm trying to sleep or something, this is gonna be a lifesaver. I always carry some tape as well. I have gaff and this masking tape. This is more for visibility. So if I wanna outline like um, steps or something on stage, uh, I'll also use this to tape down their set lists on stage. And then also I have some black gaff tape somewhere in here, which is just gonna be for more like general uh, high utility administrative work. I have an adapter for a wall outlet because you never know the kind of outlets you're gonna be working with, especially because we're going to France and Switzerland. I need to have adapters so I can work with whatever kind of plugs they might have. This is actually just a, like a universal to the Edison 
that we have in the States. I have to buy the, the, the inverse version of this for when we go to Europe, but I still carry this just in case. I always carry my external uh, hard drive with me because I have a kind of an older MacBook and it's out of, out of storage. So I have this one just for like big files that I need to access. I just carry it in this little case. I will have some downtime, I think, at some of the shows where I can sit in the production office and, and catch up on some other work. And so that's kind of why that's here for me. I also brought this uh, like tactical vest. This is actually super handy, especially when I'm like on set or when I'm on stage because I can attach my radio to this, which we will have radios too. I'm actually about to go after this video filming, I'm gonna go pick up the radios for the tour. And so I can just snap on my radio here, I could have my tape here, I could have my phone here, and that way it's not all in my pockets and, and weighing me down. So this is a very handy, I think this was like 20, 25 bucks on, on Amazon. And, Cause you know, you're moving instruments around, you're moving back line, you're pushing risers. Like you don't wanna have all this junk in your pocket slowing you down. This way I can have it all kind of around my chest. I also feel safer to have it there. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take the phone into my own hands and I'm gonna show you some of the bags that I have and what are in those bags, bags within the bags. Now in this big old bag, um, at the very top level, I have my flip flops. And again, I just have these because since we're gonna be living on a bus, we're gonna have a shower. I wanna try to keep my feet clean. Uh, I'll wear these in there. They also have a bottle opener on the bottom, which is like the most bro thing ever. But these are here, they're on top. Okay, now you're about to see the wizardry that is my packing. <laughs> Somewhat wizardry, so. This is just a ton of shirts and pants and stuff. I probably have enough in here for a consistent two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks, wearing something new every day, at least in the shirts, the pants. I think I have three pairs of pants. Uh, not including my sweats I'm wearing now, which I'll probably wear these on the bus mostly. Um, these are more like show pants. These are all in here, they're all rolled up. I'm not the best at like rolling pants, so if anybody has tips for how to better pack this kind of a suitcase, please help me out, because I, I feel like I could have done this better. And then on the top section here is where I have all of my um, more personal items. So I have my, my underwear, my socks, uh, tons of pairs of socks. I got some shorts. I even packed my swim trunks in here because we're gonna be on a cruise for about a week uh, and it's gonna be nice to be able to get in the water on our off days. So this is my like bathroom toiletries bag. I have my floss in here. I'm a big fan of little pick flosses. Um, I take algae with me. This is really good for inflammation as well as like it says heart, eye, immune, and brain health. I don't take one a day. I take one whenever I'm feeling kind of thin. Also some vitamin E, good for blood, blood flow, blood pressure. Uh, and then I have this adult multivitamin, which is a pretty gnarly vitamin, but it has like everything you could ever need for um, overall immune health. You'll notice there's a ton of space in here still. It's because I'm about to go to the store and buy like shampoo. I'm gonna buy my face wash, which I have a very specific wash that I use, buy toothpaste and stuff like that. I just couldn't fly with it coming from, uh, from Seattle. So I have to buy it here. In here, I got my toothbrush, of course. And on this side, I have my clippers just because my beard does kind of grow out and I don't want it to. So that's just a way to tame it. I also packed this little like phone stand because I'm trying to record more vlog videos. And so with this, I can like clip this onto anything and then hold my phone. So hopefully that sort of allows me or enables me to better keep up with my video content. Crossing my fingers for that, hopefully. And then last but not least is my trusty fanny pack, which is like my ride or die. Hinterland is a festival that I worked last summer. Good times. And here I got a couple things. I mean, I usually keep my wallet in there, which I just took it out for a minute. Um, so wallet goes in there, like personal stuff. I got my sunglasses. I have my, my new AirPods. Very important on the road when I'm having like meetings and stuff. This, this helps a lot. And then chapstick, that's just in the main pocket. So in this front pocket, I have a few things. Um, I have a couple USBs. For example, this USB right here has like the tour band's visuals on them. So then if we go to a show and the production team didn't download them in advance from the advance, I have them on my person so I can just quickly give it to them in real time. And then this USB is again, just for more storage. I also have, it says, uh, it says DJ on it because I have record box and Serato uh, formatted on here if I ever needed to DJ an after party. You never know. And then I also have a bunch of stickers because one of the things about being on the road is you get to see a lot of like green rooms 
and I always find it a good opportunity to slap some stickers up. So I have my music stickers, I have my clothing line stickers, which is right there, and I have um, story time stickers, QR codes. And then I also have business cards here um, that I kind of give out to people like promoters after we have shows. That way we can stay in touch and that's my social tag. So if you guys have social media, add your boy. I think this is a sticker from Rocklahoma Festival I did last year. This is Big T. I think he's uh, either Evanescence or Five Finger Death Punch's security guard. He like makes custom stickers. He gave me a bunch, but that was just randomly in there. And then in the back pocket, I have my passport because again, we are going international and I have just an extra dongle because you can never have too many of these. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's for two months on the road. That's all I have. Really, the, the suitcase is just for my clothes and then the backpack and my fanny pack is for everything else, all the technology stuff, stickers, business cards, laptops, things like that. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you saw something in here that you're like, oh, I didn't know that he needed to take that on the road. Or maybe you didn't see something and you're like, oh my God, this guy's crazy for not bringing it. If either one of those were the case, please leave a comment. I would love to explain my reasoning for why I did or didn't bring something. Why I didn't bring something is probably because of space, because everything's super packed and these are like my essentials. But please, by all means, let me know in the comments below. Again, I do also have my No Way Home YouTube channel, which is gonna feature like more of the footage on the road of the tour, just like everyday happenings. This channel is kind of geared more towards like the explanations about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But that channel is gonna have all the footage from being on the road and all the crazy adventures we get into. So check that out. Check out my other videos on this channel. I did a great one recently about how to get into tour management, how to get into the music industry. So if you're keen on going through this experience for yourself, watch that video. I think it would be very helpful for you. And again, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to now run out and pick up these radios for the tour. I also have to go get my like toiletries for the road. And then I'm actually gonna head to the festival grounds because I have to make sure that one of our pallets from the East Coast got delivered. And we're also having a massive merch drop. We have 24 boxes of merch that's gonna go on this uh, bandwagon and trailer with us. So. It's gonna be a lot, but we're gonna see it through and I will vlog along the way. Thank you guys, bye.